Welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In this lecture, we are going to learn how to solve for a literal equation. So what is a literal equation? A literal equation simply just means that there are two or more variables in an equation. For example, A equals BC. There is more than one variable in this equation. So this is an example of a literal equation. Another example can be A equals L times W. This is a formula of the area of rectangle. So such a formula can be an example of a little equation. So solving for little equation, we can find the same step as we solve for regular linear equation. The only difference is that we don't get specific value as an answer. So we're going to look at an example to see how to solve for it. For example, P equals HC. Then we are asked to solve for C. So by solving zero equation, we have to do inverse operations, just same as we do for linear equation. For example, if you have 3x equals 9. This is a regular linear equation. That is p equals h times c. Then if you ask to solve for x, so you want to isolate x. In order to isolate x, you need to do inverse operation because 3 has been multiplied by x. So you want to divide 3 on both sides because multiplication and division inverse each other. So this three is going to be canceled out. So x equals 3. Then we can look at here. You are asked to solve for c, so you need to isolate c. But h has been multiplied by c. So by inverse operation, we're going to divide h on both sides. Remember, this is equation. So wherever you do one side, you have to do the same on the other side. So divide h on both, both hand side. So this h going to be canceled out. So what we left with c equals p dy by h. You can rewrite it as c equals p dy by h. You can just bring the c at the left hand side, but eventually they are same thing. Then let's look at another example for multi-step. For example, 2w plus c equals a. Then the question asks you to solve for w. So first, we're going to subtract c on both sides because you want to isolate w. So in order to isolate w, you, you need to do inverse operations. So you want to subtract C on both sides. So positive C and negative C are going to be canceled out. Then we left with A minus C. Then 2 has been multiplied by W. So by doing inverse operation, we're going to divide 2 on both sides. So the 2 and 2 are going to be canceled out. Then we get a minus c divided by 2. And this is the an answer. That's it. Thank you.